Paul Goldschmidt, your 2022 Hank Aaron Award winner. Also, by the way, the 2013 Hank Aaron Award winner. Paul, congratulations. Tell me what this award means to you and just to be associated with the name Hank Aaron. Yeah, it's a huge honor. You know, there's so many great players and uh, to be able to win, you know, to be voted in by, you know, some of these Hall of Famers and the fans is a huge honor and uh, just very thankful for that. And of course, Hank Aaron, one of the greatest um, haters of all time, if not the greatest, and to win the words is a huge honor. Yeah, you mentioned that name, Hank Aaron. I, to me, it's the epitome of hitting. And I think about what he once told me, that he was most proud of getting runners in off the bases because that's how you help your teammates. That's how you win games. You, like Hank, great at that. Hank, in his career, 20 points better with runners on base than without. And you, in 2022, 36 points higher. Tell me your approach, Goldie. When you see runners on the bases, describe what it's like. Yeah, you know, honestly... I try to just pretend like there's no one on base. I noticed early on in my career, you know, I'd get a little too antsy, a little too excited with guys on base. So kind of my mental adjustment is just to remind myself to just try not to do too much and just do what I would normally do. And I think, you know, that that's a, a big part of the game, a big situation with guys in the scoring position. So kind of calm myself down and just, you know, let what's going to happen happen. Hey, Paul, you think about the way last year started. Obviously, we had a shorter spring training. Everything was rushed. Your start was probably slower than you wanted. Describe the start and when you felt it began to kick in for you. Um, well, you know, going into last year, my goal was to get off to a good start. And I had a great spring training. I think I hit like four or 500. I know I wasn't a ton of at bats. I was really confident going into the year. And then pretty quickly. I didn't play well those first couple of weeks. and was like, man, what just happened? And so kind of spent that first month trying to get back to, you know, playing a little bit better and was still getting hits here and there, but not really driving the ball. And then towards the end of April and into May started, you know, just having really consistent at bats. It just clicked somewhere in there. And I think uh, May was probably the best month I've ever had. You know, I, I think I had the hit streak and on base streak where I got on base every, every game that month, which is something I never have done and honestly never even dreamed about. So that was pretty crazy. You know, you're going to need some right bounces and some luck and stuff like that. But, you know, was able to carry it into the all-star break and then, you know, just kind of keep it going. Well, you say you always had power, but didn't the scouts see that? Eighth round pick, Paul Goldschmidt. And here you are with the Hank Aaron Award. So what would you advise a young player who's not that first round slam dunk winner of, the, of uh, you know, of the draft? What would you advise that kind of player going forward? Oh, uh, you know, once you're drafted, everyone's got an opportunity. So I never looked at it any different. But, you know, I think just try to keep getting better every day. That's what I've tried to do. You know, even in the minor leagues at the end of each season, you try to look back and find ways to get better. And, and now, you know, even in the big leagues or as I've gotten older, it's like, all right, what can I do to get better for next year? Because whether it's new younger players coming up that are going to be really good or just the, the teams making adjustments, they're going to they're going to be getting better every day. They're going to find a way to try to take advantage of any weaknesses you have. And so if I'm not trying to get better every year, you're going to be getting worse or everyone's going to be gaining on you. And so that's kind of been my mindset is to just try to keep getting better and, and see where that can take me. And Paul, I'm wondering if you might share some hitting secrets here, because with two strikes, there, there was nobody better. Most RBIs, highest OPS with two strikes. I mean, we all know hitting with two strikes. Well, hitting in general is so hard. Two strikes is super hard. So what was your approach? What is the secret to your success hitting with two strikes? Oh, it's tough. I didn't, I had no idea I was doing, you know, that well with two strikes. So I think for me, it's just a mental thing. It's, you know, you know, you want to put the ball in play and, and you want to, you know, you're one pitch away from getting out, but not putting too much pressure on yourself. I think you get in trouble where you feel like, oh, I just got to swing at anything and just protect. And, and that's kind of a weak mindset. You know, I still wanted to hit the ball hard. You know, I, I don't want to strike out. I, unfortunately, you know, with my swing, it's going to happen. I'm going to strike out, you know, a good amount. But, um, you know, find a way to foul off pitches, strike out as least as possible, put the ball in play without doing it too weak, you know. So finding that balance between still driving the ball, still having good at bats, swing at the right pitches. And uh, but knowing that, you know, you might have to cut down your swing in some circumstances. And, and honestly, it's not that much different. Sometimes you're not feeling good. And right off the bat, you know, you might have to go to 
kind of a more contact swing and in other times you can let it fly a little bit. So there's a lot of different things, but, um, you know, just try to continue to, you know, do my job and, and hit the ball hard and then let the results be what they are. Hey, Paul, I know your teammates have told me you are as routine oriented as anybody in the game. You study your craft as much as anybody. So I know you're already thinking about how you're going to get better, even after winning the Hank Aaron Award. So for Paul Goldschmidt, where do you look to improve at this stage? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is small stuff. It's not like even early in my career, even anytime, it's not like, oh, I'm going to make a big wholesale change. My idea is try to get just a little bit better in, in every area I can. So, you know, talk to our trainers and strength coaches, see where we are. I can improve there. I already talked to our hitting coaches and kind of learned from this past year, things I did well, things we can build on, things we can improve on, continue to talk with coaches and teammates, keep working. And so I think just try to incrementally get better uh, and just keep learning. And so that's what it is. It's all facets of the game. Um, there's a lot that you can do. Obviously, we're talking about hitting here, but try to play well on defense, base run, you know, be a better teammate, help help lead better, just anything I can do um, to help us win. I mean, we want to win the World Series, and that's the ultimate goal. And so that's where the focus is. I was hoping you were going to say you're going to win the Triple Crown. I mean, you gave a run at it. Did you find out how hard it is to win that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I already knew. I mean, that's just incredible. The fact that I even had a chance was was pretty incredible. I mean, there's so many great players. And I think that's the amazing thing about it, whether it was myself, someone else, what Judge was doing. You know, you're competing against guys in all these different categories and, and different players. And to really do all three of those things is extremely tough. That's why, you know, it hasn't been done that often and, and definitely in a long time in the National League. And, um, yeah, I mean, this year was incredible for me. I was probably the best year of my career, which, you know, you can't be disappointed with that. And um, just a great year. Paul Goldschmidt, a two-time winner of the Hank Aaron Award. Congratulations and thank you so much.